Hello BEA beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. My name is Maggie Renee and I am a Juilliard trained opera singer. Ooh, up? So, let's get started. Are y'all ready? I know y'all ready. I'm ready. Let's do it. Y'all, this is Take Hold of the Flame, Queensryche, live in Tokyo, 1984. Let's pull up the Wikipedia for this. Here we go. We're gonna look them up and see who they are. Okay, so, Queensryche. Queensryche is an American heavy metal band. It formed in 1980 in Bellevue, Washington, out of the local band The Mob. The band has released 15 studio albums, one EP, and several e DVDs, and continues to tour and record. The original lineup con uh, consisted of guitarists Michael and Chris, drummer Scott, bassist Eddie, and lead vocalist Jeff, Jeff Tate, which everybody seems to be loving in my comments section. Uh, Queensryche has sold over 20 million albums worldwide, including over 6 million albums in the United States. They are considered one of the leaders of the progressive metal scene of the mid to late 1980s, and often referred to as one of the big three of the genre, along with Dream Theater and Fate's Warning. Um, they received worldwide acclaim after the release of their 1988 album, Operation Mindcrime, which is often considered one of the greatest heavy metal concept albums of all time. Their follow-up released Empire... Oops, their follow-up release, Empire, released in 1990, was also very successful and included the hit single, Silent Lucidity. The band has received three Grammy Award nominations for the songs from both albums. In 1988, drummer Rockin' Field received an individual Grammy nomination. Amazing. Make sure you all join the Discord, because if you have other reaction requests that you would like for me to do, you should join the Discord and add them to the polls so potentially they can get picked. Or if you'd like to sponsor them and support the channel, I would love for you guys to do that as well. So make sure you check out our um, Discord and also our sponsoring videos page or our Patreon, which will give you another opportunity to do that. Take Hold of the Flame, Queensryche, live in Tokyo, 1984. Guys, let me know if uh, there's anything else we need to know. Thank you so much, Chase, for sponsoring this video. And let's do this. I'm very, very excited. Oh, and let me know what you like and what you don't like. <laughs> Here we go. Let's do it. I'm scared. I'm ready, but I'm scared. This next song is off our new album, coming out soon. The Song of Hope is called Take Hold of the Flame. He's a young looking dude. Nice. That's an interesting voice so far. I like his vibrato and I like the way that he produces his sound. It's kind of interesting. Like you can't fully hear his voice full out yet. You know what I mean? But like obviously this is still the opening. So I'm very curious to see how he will sound in the bigger parts because it sounds like he has a really nice placement that could potentially eventually be like wah, like very wah, and you will like really hear it out and powerful and I'm very excited to hear that. Anyways, I think it's really interesting so far. I like the quality of his voice and I'm curious to see how it will build. Let's keep listening. He has this very like, the fact that he has so much backspace in his voice while keeping it in that resonance space already shows me like what the potential is. So I'm very excited. Sorry. Let's keep going. Do you hear that? Get in there. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was expecting. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. I was like, wait, is he going to go into the snarl, please? Because the fact that he has the technique to be able to that low, have that open space in the back and have that resonance, then he has the what? 
ah, and then you're like, oh, there it is. Oh my goodness, I love this. Nice. Very good tuning on that. He has a really nice voice and very nice tuning too. Like sometimes you can go really sharp or really flat on those kinds of sounds when you go into that snarl area. But he's keeping on very good pitch. The w uh, the part right before he went into the snarl was just a little bit flat because of the really wide vibrato. But other than that, it's very, very good. And he stays in pitch the whole time. Who else? We just heard somebody that did this. Hold on. What was the reaction? The uh, Was it Man in the Box? What? He did that, but this one, um, uh, what is it? Jeff has a little bit more of the backspace than who sang Man in the Box, y'all? Who was that? One hour later. Was it Lane? Lane. So Lane did, he was a little bit younger in the video that we watched, and Lane kind of did, yeah, Alice in Chains. Thank you. Thank you, Cheese Muffins. Okay. So Lane has the same kind of quality where he went up into his forward snarl kind of a thing, but he had a little bit less backspace so it came out a lot more pingy but it was still this kind of similar quality he on the other hand jeff on the other hand has this super nice backspace and so it's coming out really pingy but it has this like richness in the back of it which i really like as well let's keep on listening Do you hear it Nice. I love how he's incorporating the voice cracks. The <laughs> he's doing the voice cracks in there and then also like that wide vibrato on there. In this range, it works really, really well because it just sounds like that rocker. Like, da, 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 da. You know, it beats on you really, really nicely. Nice, that range is super, super impressive. Hold on, y'all. Can I look up the lyrics? Do y'all mind if I look up the lyrics to this song really quickly? Type a one if I can look up the lyrics, because I'm kind of curious to see what the lyrics are. Is everybody okay with that? Can I can I look at them? Is that okay? Can I do that? Yes? Okay, I'm seeing lots of ones. Whoa. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of ones. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's see. So it says, We see the light of those who find a world has passed them by. Too late to save a dream that's growing cold. We realize that fate must hide its face from those who try to see the distant signs of unforetold. Oh, oh, take hold. From a haze came a rage of thunder, from distant signs of darkness on the way, fading cries, scream of pain and hunger, but in the night the light will guide your way. So take hold of the flame. Don't you see life's a game? So take hold of the flame. You've got nothing to lose but everything to gain. Ride to a place beyond our time. Reach for the edges of your mind, and you are there. See that the light will find its way back to a place where it will stay. Make it stay. Throw down the, trains, the chains of oppression that bind you. With the air of freedom, the flame grows bright. We are strong, the youth united. We are, the, we are one. We are children of the light. So take hold of the flame. Don't you see life's a game? So take hold of the flame. You've got nothing to lose but everything to gain. What the heck does that mean? Does anybody know what this means? I kind of understand it a little bit, but it, it's losing itself on me a little bit. Can anybody explain a little bit what this means? A song of hope. Go for it. 
So take hold of the flame. Don't you see life's a game? So that just so take hold of the flame literally means carpe diem. Okay. Okay. It was written for the Olympics. Ooh. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. The world is your oyster. Okay. Cool. I think that gives us a better idea of what we're kind of listening to. Let's keep on watching. This is really good so far, y'all. believe how in tune he is for this difficult range that he's singing in i mean y'all he's like wow like all the way up there and he's still singing so much in tune usually that kind of stuff is really hard to control and especially to hear in your ears while you're doing it and especially with a band that is like wailing around you like can you imagine having all of that sound in your ear and then still being able to hit all the notes on point like yes Good job. Like, epical. I really like that a lot. And they all sound really good. I like this band a lot because they work together really well. Um, usually I feel like I can point out each instrument and kind of, like, comment individually. But I feel like they work together so well in this that I'm kind of just, like, enjoying each and every single thing as a whole. You know, versus, like, part by part. Does that make sense? It just sounds like an all-together kind of beast that's just, like, working together to make this whole sound happen. I really like it a lot. It's very fascinating to listen to. Let's get those likes up because the more you guys like, the more Queen's Reich will be promoted to everybody. This video will go out to more and more people and then we can introduce more people to the band. So make sure you like because that way we can get into the algorithm and show more people about this music, which is like the main goal. <laughs> All right, let's keep on watching. This is so cool. I'm going to go back quite a bit because I want to hear that guitar again. <laughs> We have to go back, y'all. That note, we've heard that high of a note before, but did y'all hear the power in that? That was insanity. That wasn't a normal... That wasn't a normal snarl. That man just fully did like a full power like... Like that was... Oh my God, how do I explain that? That was like... That was like an operatic snarl. That is the best way that I can describe that. He had the support of the gods with that one. Like what? <laughs> <laughs> what hold on i need to hear that again how what what Wait for it. How does he 
do it so powerfully. What the heck? That is like the most perfect positioning of a snarl that I've ever heard on a high note. Like, first of all, let's figure out what note that was. Oh. Okay. Like, we, we can, we know. Okay, wait. Don't tell anybody. Like, we know that it was an accident that I just got that from the first time. Like, you and I know that. But don't tell anybody else. Because that was really quick that I found that. So that is an E. Um, and I think it's a so four. So it's a E5. Okay. So he's hitting an E5 purely. Oh my God. That's really good. So that is in his snarl voice, um, which, okay. So what, what snarl basically is, is it's a very forward placed, um, mixed head heavy voice, right? So we talk about it on my channel. There's the chest voice, which is at the very bottom. There's other vocal techniques below like subharmonics and uh, growls that you can do to get lower. But there's a, essentially the chest voice, which you usually use to find your lowest notes um, that you fully sing. Then right above that is the mixed chest voice where you still have your chest voice incorporated, but then you put in some mix so that it's a combination of chest and head to create this like powerful belt. And then above that, there is the head mix, which is like you still have a little bit of chest on the bottom so that you have that thread, but it's mostly like a mix. And then the head comes down into the mix. So the mix is like this little thing. The chest never leaves and the head never leaves, but it's like mixed so that you don't push one or the other. And so you have the head heavy mix. And then you have head. So above the head voice, there's also whistle register and other techniques that you can hear, like, you know, Dimash, Morissette, uh, Ariana Grande, all those people use like the whistle tones and stuff like that. But... In this little register of the head mix, not the head, but the head mix, that's where he's sitting and he's using the snarl technique to bring it all the way forward into his voice because he could be just like right there, but he brings it forward and it's not nasal necessarily, but it's in that resonance space. So it's higher than the nose. He's not bringing it to the nose. He's bringing it into the point of resonance that's above it. And in fact, I was talking to my friend before, um, another singer here at Juilliard Younger, um, and we were talking about this and I was like, you know, the thing that I've discovered is when I was younger, I was trying to put all of this stuff into like a small box right here but it turns out that the sound needs the space which is what Jeff is really really great at it needs the space in the whole mouth and the whole embouchure to give it that ring but then the sound is what goes into the resonance so the sound is what you narrow down and what he's doing with the sound is very much narrowing it down and putting it into the snarl position and letting his face also adjust so that he kind of like has this whole forward situation that like clamps down and creates this like sound which is really really epic but the space that he has is what's so impressive because like what oh i hope that makes sense did that make sense to Ooh, sorry so on an e5 he did that and he created all that space which is really fascinating anyways let's continue on shall we i want to hear that one more time because that is incredible question is why does he separate it so much do y'all hear that look at listen to how he like initiates that sound it's so weird he initiates it almost like a whistle tone like when you do a whistle tone like if i do it up there that's an e6 uh my piano's off like if i go up there I should probably swallow and make sure my vocal cords are clean. But if you hit like a whistle tone like that, you kind of have, those were terrible. I don't know what I'm doing right now. But you know what I mean? Like when you hit that whistle tone initiation, you kind of can hear like the instant onset of it. And he's having that down there on the E6. I mean, on the E5. He like really just like clamps down on it. It's kind of fascinating. Let me hear what he does one more time. It almost sounds like he like literally puts a glottal on it because ah, you don't hear any, any, whatchamacallit, any air coming through, you know, that's fascinating. We strive to not have air coming through our cords while we do these kinds of things. So that's really, really powerful. We are we are ah, ah, ah. Ah. Oh. Nice. 
nice. Again. Yeah, Chris, I was about to mention that. Chris just says, let's talk about Chris DeGarmo being able to match Jeff Tate on backup vocals. Truly, the backup vocals are really, really good, too. I noticed that a couple of times they're like literally singing the same kind of lines and they all sound great on it, too. What is this band? I like them a lot. There's a lot of talent in this. And if you guys, if I get enough of you, then I will do another day of some more Queensryche for you all, because I think it might be fun. <laughs> All right, let's continue on. Here we go. Let's finish this off. This is such a good song. How is he so good? Ugh. Okay, let's keep on going. Also fascinating. How was he to take hold of the flame? Ha ha! He was like re-hitting that note twice. Listen to that. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> oh, such a fast ending. Cheese muffins. That is good. Oh my goodness gracious. Okay, that was epical, and I need to hear more of him immediately. That was fantastical. I'm so impressed by his technique and that space that he has. It is so unique and so different, and like, whoa, love it so much. Thank you so much, Chase, for sponsoring that video. That was epical, Chase says. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, comment down below what you enjoyed and what you'd like to hear next, and subscribe to join my BEA beautiful family. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Maggie Renee Music so that you can join me on all of my adventures as a singer living in New York City, studying at Juilliard, and traveling the world, taking you on stage and backstage with me. If you would like to support this channel, please consider becoming a patron on Patreon where you can get exclusive perks and benefits. You can also hit the cute little blue join button to become a member of the Skittle Squad. Skittle Squad, let me hear you down below. Also, be sure to check out the links down below in my description so that you can see all the ways that you can follow me, connect with me, and support the channel. You can also go to maggierenee.com links to find all of the different places that you can visit, such as my Discord. Make sure you join the Discord because Become a member of the Eyebrow Army, TikTok, Patreon, how to sponsor a reaction, my vocal course called How to Sing Better Instantly, and much, much more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I am sending you all so, 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 so much love, and I will see you in the next video. 